is your brain. This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. The German study suggests that the U.S. government's claim that ecstasy causes devastating, irreversible brain damage was a dramatic exaggeration. And so that's part of the reason I want to legalize it, too. Because we can figure out, hey, look, this is safe. This is the right dosage. Now, there are people who think it's a bad idea. There are people who think smoking and, and, and drinking are bad okay, ideas. Okay, I'd like to tell you about it. Ask just one, one dose could mess up your brain for life. Researchers at a Norwegian university have looked back at early medical trials of LSD and found evidence it could be used to treat alcoholism. Uh, Psilocybin decreases the amount of activity that's occurring, therefore decreasing activities associated with depression. A California state law where medical marijuana appears to be happening so many people with cancer. thousand deaths related to drug violence. the failure of the policy of prohibition in our society. It's the beginning of a very significant uh, scientific investigation of the actions of, of uh, psychedelics. In the popular press, hallucinogens have been portrayed as a recreation, an escape, or a dangerous invitation for abuse. But there is another side to the story. The truth is that more people die each year from using simple pain relievers than from all illegal drugs combined. And of those caused by illegal drugs, the vast majority are caused by street narcotics such as cocaine and heroin. Almost none are due to psychedelics. My name is Giancarlo Canavesio from Mangusta Productions. Angusta and Elevate are finishing a documentary directed by Oliver Ackenhall. It's called Neurons on Nirvana, Understanding Psychedelic Medicine. It is a very important documentary. There's a lot of controversy and a lot of misinformation around the subject of psychedelic medicine, psychedelic drugs. Uh, the truth is that uh, recent scientific research has proven that those compounds can be extremely beneficial. Taking psilocybin has been very healing for me. That was the most opening experience I've ever had in my life. We have medicines to solve some of the very important health problems that face us today, but because of government regulations that are based upon prejudice and ignorance and political ideology, rather than on medical or scientific knowledge, we're denying major aspects of our population access to medicines that they dearly need. You're really dealing with irrational, fear-based reactions that have nothing to do with what the drugs have done in the past and what they can do in the future. Part of it is just anti-drug hysteria, which is the only possible thing that can account for the ultimate historical folly, which is the war on drugs, whereby after you know spending 40 or 50 billion dollars a year for how many years, there are more people using more drugs in worse ways than ever before. We must wage what I have called total war against public enemy number one in the United States, the problem of dangerous drugs. It's not that they don't want you to be on drugs. They want you to be on drugs. They just want you to be on corporate drugs. The companies are not interested to hear about a treatment that may need just to be given once or twice that could make a huge difference to people. We need to know more about it. We need to understand the risks and benefits more. And the only way you're really going to understand it is to do clinical research. And it's been 40 years, 50 years, since all clinical work on psychedelics was shut down. And we talk about freedom a lot in America, but we really don't express a lot of freedoms. To put these valuable tools in the hands of criminality is a most terrible mistake. Are we so sure that we can solve all the problems that confront us, that we want to throw away a possible tool that can expand consciousness, that could possibly give us some more insights and some more possibilities of how to resolve the difficulties that we're facing? I think not. Not only would these drugs have the potential to be useful in psychotherapy, they had the potential to be useful in the evolution of the human species, and they could make a major contribution to the survival of the planet. I hope that this knowledge gets shared. If you can possibly donate funding for marketing and distribution, theatrical openings, it would be really wonderful. So many times it takes a documentary like this to affect change. We have the opportunity to do it now. With your contribution, you can help 100,000, probably a million of people that will benefit from those treatments. There always seems to be one ingredient in the recipe of social change that our generation has tried to expunge from the record, and that's the fact that millions of us lay prostrate before the gates of awe, having taken some psychedelic substance. 
the critics who would always say, don't take these drugs because they're going to change your life forever. What they didn't understand is that was the entire point. The more generous you are, the bigger is the release. Please help us getting this important documentary out to the world. Thank you very much.